Dr. Hussain Zulur Rahman sir. He is a chairperson for BRAC Bangladesh. BRAC is working wonderfully. Its contribution is matching the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 4 with respect to education, inclusive education for all. So BRAC is a wonderful organization. Sir Hussain sir will obviously reflect some of the, their activities and would like to know from Hussain sir the introductory remarks on today's session. What are the best practices you people have been doing and the role model which you have created for the generations to come? What can be gained from your experiences, Mr. Hussain Dilur Rahman sir? Please sir. Thank you and uh, greetings from Bangladesh. And I want to congratulate Policy Times and Shiv Nada University for this important conference. And I just want to underline that you know I am also an economist by training. I see that around the world during the pandemic health and economy has been in great discussion focus of many many discussions policy level but education and human capital has been far less so so i really want to congratulate you i see so uh, really not just education per se but in the context of the pandemic it is a wonderful initiative that this issue of human capital and education is being talked about and i want to uh, to explain what innovations we are doing i think we i just need to in a way set the context and link it to this pandemic situation what has the covid-19 impact been on education one a huge number of children has had to endure prolonged absence from school basically absence from education for over a year almost now there is an accumulated learning loss how was they going to recover from this and then there has also been of course people have tried to solve the problem of school closure by using digital options but we have also seen particularly salman sahab what you mentioned about marginal communities we have also seen a worsening of the digital divide because not everyone have access to that so these are the context in which we brac has had to innovate to keep uh, to keep itself relevant but also i think the covid impact has also really dramatized certain fault lines in our education system in general one of them i would say is the pedagogic element i was hearing the last session how much the importance of the student experience what is being taught etc the pedagogic uh, drawbacks of our current system of education i think that has been dramatized because of the covid impact the other point is very important we talk of education is not just a commodity education is a way of certainly but skills embedded in a human being who has to have a certain socio emotional intelligent framework in which to use these skills and this socio emotional intelligence you know the learning environment that's a very important issue which has i think needs to be brought to the attention again and covid 19 particularly has done that and the third element is also very important it's a social angle which is parental engagement in the education of their children not just paying for the fees and sending them to school but actual engagement in what they're learning and uh, uh, how they are doing these are more important for these marginalized communities so brac actually saw these uh, the you know under the impact of the covid 19 i think brac did a wonderful job of trying to innovate and i think what we have done if i uh, just mention in a very brief manner one is that brac has tried to reimagine distance learning you know put it on a new pedagogic foundation we have tried to you know digital divide is a reality shall we just complain about it brac went ahead and tried to leverage underused features of technology to try and extend the access of education to the marginal population and also of course the pedagogy innovation exactly what have we done i think certain game changing interventions uh, over one year we have now managed to really as i mentioned our focus is on 
primary is on primary. We have also been focused on these displaced Myanmar nationals in uh, Bangladesh, you know, their camps, etc. So what we have done is that because you can't, the schools can't be started. First of all, how do you ensure continuity of the experience of education? And through that, BRAC innovated two things. One is what we call the homeschool option, and the other is the radio school. And what this has done is, you know, we talk of digital, when the word digital is used, we think of 5G and very fancy things. But for those poor people, they, those fancy things are just dreams. But what we saw is that the simple non-smartphone also has features which can be leveraged. And particularly, we have leveraged those, you know, non the conference call feature of a non-smartphone has been utilized to try and generate a homeschool solution where twice weekly organized 20 minute lessons are delivered to groups of children in their own community. So that's a important innovation which was done. And then community radio, even in the normal phone, you know, non-smartphone, there is a radio option which has not been sufficiently looked at. But we have also looked at community radio and through the community radio, we have tried to deliver this, uh, the, the uh, lessons to those marginal communities and community radio, as you know, can reach these marginal communities better. And therefore, homeschool and this radio school has been two of the very important innovations that we have managed to do. Additionally, what we have done is that, I think this has not been discussed perhaps sufficiently. I really want to bring the attention to every one of this uh, attendance of this conference is that we talk of student dropouts. COVID-19, we have really seen a problem of teacher dropouts. Teachers also have been in a great problem of, you know, and the socioeconomic, uh, socio-emotional uh, sort of turmoil faced by teachers and students has been a important part of them able to join the education process. So that's why our content, our content has not just been the lessons the understood in the usual sense, but it has also mean, meant uh, the lessons plus a mental health lesson actually. The two combined has been an important issue. And another one we have done is that we have tried to involve the parents also. So parental engagement has been a very important focus because the child, you know, pre-primary or primary cannot really do, uh, uh, need someone to assist them. And the mother or the sister or brother are there, they can be mobilized. And one of the other things that we have done is really focusing on this whole issue of mental health in the communities as a foundation to uh, improve the education. We have also focused on what we call para counseling training. Para, basically women in the community have been trained in mental health issues and this para counselor, I think for Bragg, this is another innovation we are going to really uh, contribute to Bangladesh that we have para doctors, we have para lawyers, but this para counselors in the community to deal with a variety of uh, mental health issues, socio-emotional issues, which are very important for a student to feel very safe and confident to concentrate on their education. I think that has also been a very important uh, contribution that we have made. We are continuing on this very important, you know, digital solutions one of the problem there is how will the exam be taken? So we have tried to do a customized, you know, learning outcome assessment instrument. We have been trying to develop that also, so that it's not just a one-way delivery of content, but it's both interactive, but then we can also assess whether the children are actually learning something. And that is also an ongoing thing. So I want to stop here by saying that COVID was a crisis but it has triggered the innovative DNA of BRAC, hopefully of many others across the world. And we need to really uh, not just deal with the 
specific problems of COVID, but also some of these deeper issues about our existing education system that the COVID crisis has really brought to the fore. And hopefully we re should reimagine education as a larger experience than simply uh, uh, some isolated content. And to deliver that larger experience, we need this pedagogical view by which the, not just at the very grassroots, even at the university level, I think these issues need to be talked of. So I will stop here. And uh, again, uh, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Well, thank you, sir. And uh, while researching about BRAC, I found the phrase which resembles your talk. And that was, BRAC says, we have never faced bigger challenges, but we have never been more ready. So wonderful thought. And uh, BRAC is many things, friends. It's a social enterprise. It's a social investors. It's a policy advocacy platform. It's a public forum. It is for universities creation. It is for knowledge hubs. And BRAC brings many people together. Thank you.